I've gone and seen a lot of the vacant ghost estates and it's very disturbing when you, when you walk around them to see so many uh, newly built, relatively newly built houses just simply abandoned because there's, you know, they're in the wrong place. Um, what the government could have done differently was simply to ensure that there was an availability of housing in the Dublin area particularly uh, at affordable prices for people to buy. And they failed to do that throughout the entire, virtually the entire period. There wasn't enough housing available in Dublin and that explains why the commuter belt expanded as much as it did. Uh, throughout the, from the late 1990s onwards, you know, to a distance of 100 kilometres from the city. The builder should be held responsible for having built estates with, you know, the, the market obviously wasn't there to sell them. Um, they've just got out of control, basically, that it was seen as an easy way to make money. I would blame the banks much more than the developers. Um, the developers were just, the money was literally being thrown at them. Who's, who, would, who could say no? Some of the ones that are in the wrong places will have to be demolished um, because, you know, you couldn't say they should be used for social housing because they're remote from services and shops and churches and schools and so on. So um, the ones that are better located, I mean, in other words, closer to the services that people need, uh, they, they should be um, uh, finished. I don't believe it's a proper thing to tear down these houses. I think rather uh, there's plenty of people without housing, so I think they should put a lot of t thought and a lot of money into redeveloping these estates. Because I think now there is a lot of money going to be wasted in order to knock them down or whatever and I don't know what they're going to do in order to fix that. But at the same time um, you'd like them to be truthful about how much they're going to spend and all that kind of stuff on and what kind of budget they're going to use to, to, to pay for the, the repairs and what that's it. We need to take seriously the whole concept of sustainable development and I, I hope that that's one of the outcomes of it and that we don't run off you know, at half cock all over again and, and make the same mistakes as were made in the last 10 to 15 years.